All right, so what's going on everyone? So in this video, I am going to break down what all I got as far as home gym and list uh, probably not the most accurate just because taxes, fees, things like that. But I'm gonna get pretty close um, as to what I bought, how much, things like that. So enjoy this video. All right, what's going on everyone? So in today's video, I am going to be breaking down and showing you exactly what is in my home gym, as you can see in the previous clips. And obviously uh, before I get into this content, the prices have changed, but I'm just going to show you what it's showing me. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and jump into it. So as you can see, the first or one of the first items that we bought is the cap barbell Olympic plate tree or whatever. Pretty much what you know, hold our weights. Um, this one right here is one that my girl bought and holds up pretty nice so far. I definitely like that it has that one bar right here to hold our easy bar um, overall I like it but this is the the price that it says here um, so anywhere from 201 to 208 is what it's saying um, so let's uh, I'll calculate the total as well as I'm going so this is one of the items the second one um and real quick i wanted to mention that not everything that we bought or that you see in the home gym we bought all strictly from amazon um just wanted to throw that out there so these are the home mats that i bought i bought this one right here 10696 so about $107 and aside from you know my two fur babies they you know they do pretty well um, there's a few things that I don't like which is if you're trying to do like barbell lunges or if you're doing like a hit workout and you're trying to do burpees the mats don't stick too well to the ground so they kind of like spread apart or they roll up or things like that or like um if you can imagine if you look at a mat right the friction or whatever it'll like pop up or whatever so it's flat and then it just like pops up you just have to just press it down um but other than that i mean fairly it's pretty good like i said i have two dogs so their claws really have been puncturing holes in there that's the only thing that i don't like as well but that's not on the mat side that's on my dog side um i completely understand that part but yeah these are the home mats um and as i keep going on everything that i'm showing you um i do recommend getting them so if you're thinking about investing into a home gym highly recommend these they've you know treated me well so far Next one is this item right here. These are great for our glute bridges. That's all I use them for. Um, so maybe two times out of the week, I'll probably use them. Uh, they, compared to the one I was using at the gym, these are a whole lot more um, protection or it's more comfortable than the one in the commercial gym. So I highly recommend this. Um, this one is $12.95, so about $13. Bucks. Um, so yeah, recommend this. And this is by Garage Fit. Also, I am not an affiliate with any of these brands in any way, shape, or form. I just like to recommend stuff. Uh, maybe later on, I don't know. But as of right now, I'm, I'm not an affiliate with any of these. Next up, the clips 
I like red. Um, this is by Iron Labs. Iron Labs. So far, they. Oh my God! Like compared to like those metal clips where you have to like clench them together and it, you know it's a circle. I hate those. These are amazing. They hold the weight nice, especially when I do deadlifts. Um, currently unavailable. How much were these? Um, hmm. I think they were like 24 bucks. Um, let me see how much it is on my phone real quick. Let's see, view this order. 33, so 24, so about, I'd say 30 bucks. 30 bucks for these clips. And before you all start roasting me, could I have gotten cheaper? Yes. Do I give a fuck? Probably not. Money comes and goes. Um, you know, it, it's something I'm truly passionate about, so why not? Next one is the squat rack oh my goodness i waited forever for this one so this one says let's see cl buying options so i did not pay this much i spent view this order 300 bucks 378.02 so about 300 dollars um so yeah, I spent, I'd say like 320 other than, let's see, if I were to do the exact total. So we'll just do $300. So $300 for this squat rack. Um, and, you know, I, I love it. I love it. Um, it has all the essentials. I wanted, I actually wanted a cage, but at the time um, there was none available. So I went ahead and got this one. You have a fatter bar up top and this is by Hulk fit you have the pull-up bar right here you have the dip bar so I'll give you like uh, my review um, I don't like how close the dip bars are I feel like I'm about to snap my shoulder or something like that the bars here um, they don't fit um, so we have the dip bars, four of them. They fit, and then these. So I, I the the two extra bars that we have, I um, they're they're different in size compared to the dip bars. So I just place them right here at that that little bottom one, and I never use it. These right here hold the weights, um, and they hold pretty nice. It's sturdy, uh, you know, you get what you pay for. I like it, Pro and yeah. So I, I would recommend, um, there's nothing wrong with it. I've slant, I've put on these racks, about four, uh, pro I think 405 pounds, and you know, it's still holding pretty well. The capacity for this one, 800 pounds. Um, I know I would never, need that much weight based on my style of training um so yeah so hope fit j hooks uh dip bars definitely recommend and um what else um oh yeah i um i ordered some fat grips recently so fat grips 40 bucks Highly recommend them. You get a really wicked forearm pump. Um, and what, I, oh, and all the other equipment, all the other equipment that I got. So we'll actually continue this on my camera right now. All right, so we're back at my camera. Now the other equipment that we didn't get from Amazon, probably I like, at a fitness store or on I think it was off rope or Craigslist is the um, the bench. So 
So as you, you can see the bench here, it was, I don't know the exact total, but I think it was like about $130. Um, and you know, my review on it is the fact that it feels a little bit like wobbly um, and you can't adjust the bottom portion, like where you sit on it, um, compared to like a commercial gym. And it's a whole lot lighter than a commercial gym, probably why it's like a hundred something bucks. But yeah, so that one is 130. And then the, we'll go over the, the, the barbell. And so it was a set. We bought the barbell, a pair of 45s, um, a pair or four 10s, the easy bar, the, the, the metal clips, and two fives. So if you do the math, well, not the math, but I think all in all we paid $230 for it, which was a steal. $230 for 90 pounds in the 245s, four tens, and uh, a pair of fives, and an easy bar. Um, and uh, with those, they are pretty good, especially the 45s. It's by Sports Authority, and it's pretty heavy um, compared to what I'm about to show you next, which is this right here. So this is the, the newest weight um, set. I have one more after this. This is the newest weight set. And I think I paid roughly over $230. So for a pair of 45s, which is 90 pounds, plus a pair of 25s, that is uh, 50, plus 2.5, plus five, that's 145 pounds total. Um, 145, 230 divided by 145. So obviously each plate had a specific per pound um, pricing or whatever, but all in all I paid about 232. Um, and then the last one for the home gym uh, is the bumper plates. So they're 35s because they didn't have 45s at the time. So for four, so let's do the math here. So for four, um, let's see. So for four 35s, I think it was $2 per pound. Um, so we're look, or it was 140. Yeah, it came out to 290 something. After tax, it was like 290 something. But it divided or multiplied by two, so 280. 280 is what I paid for those four bumper plates. So let's do a grand total. Um, of all this stuff. All right, so sorry about that. Um, the camera died or the battery died. So all in all, the total is $1,432. Obviously, I would round this up to $1,500. Um, again, not to say I, I'm not trying to brag or anything, but just calculating tax and all that, it's for sure at least 1500 so 1500 you can have you know everything like that could I you know scavenge around probably find things a little bit cheaper of course right but with everything going on the pandemic you know um, a lot of things being um, low in supply high on demand things like that uh, whatever came first I just grabbed it Thinking about getting cardio machine, treadmill, or an assault bike? Let me know in the comment section below which one you like. If you were to pick one, I know probably a lot of you watching don't enjoy doing cardio. Um, 
but you know I'm just about overall health and fitness um, obviously my, my heart lies in bodybuilding power building actually both of, a mix of both but anyways you know it's never too bad to do cardio thinking about incorporating a whole lot more as far as our equipment might get a weighted vest I might obviously get cardio machines I want to get a dumbbell rack set let me know I just want to know in the comment section below what do you think assault bike or treadmill and why if you were to choose one so I hope you enjoyed this video um, and yeah let me know if you decide to get any of these products that I mentioned again I'm not an affiliate let me know how it goes for you um, if you have any questions feel feel free to reach out um, and then if you could do me this one big favor like this video if you found anything funny entertaining helpful anything um, would greatly appreciate it um, yeah if you haven't subscribed go ahead and do that hit the bell notifications and yeah more content coming for you very soon take care peace out